Welcome to When Nerds Learn to Fly. Holy place, or monastery from the Padma Sambhava. He took some meditations in here, that's why. So all of those on the wall, the history about the about the Padma Sambhava and the King Chisung Dyuzen, who is the founder of the Buddhism religion in our country in the 8th century, and he built the first monastery, which is called the Samya Monastery. So all of those the history. And he quite looks like uh, Pandan Adisha, who is the founder, re-founder of the Buddhism religion during the Shangshung civilization <coughs> in 14th century. But uh, that uh, he has the same as like a Padmasambhava. Padmasambhava, once he reached to Tibet, he his uniform becomes like that. Otherwise, from India, like this and like that one. You can see more smi smiling face, more compassion here. Yeah. Yeah. Here is with the angry face. <laughs> and you said this uh, this monastery dates from fourth, fourth century. Uh, this <coughs> one is uh, eighth century. It's just about the Putala. That is a reflection in the water. And somebody okay. drew that. <laughs> I don't oh, know yeah. who did that, but... In town first is a right. right? Okay. And okay. We go right first here, and then left, okay. and right, then we will reach the bottom. Okay. Right. After I take a picture of you. Watch your head. Okay. So in Tibet, all the cave is similar like this for taking meditation. Very quiet, nobody disturbing you. Special things that you know, that's the throat from the Padma Sambhava. And it's going to talk about lots of the natural found in this cave once he took meditation. There was um, one thing that you see in this rock. That's absolutely looks similar like a stupa. So the shape we can cover with the, this small stupa. Cover it with this stupa. And the, all the roof goes into the stone. And then starting from here, that's we can see this spot. And then this part one one more time. And other all are here. That's we can see the line yes. the wall down. And these are also ancient, very ancient style of the stupa, the round shape and as the bottom, you see, like that. So this is happened when he took meditation in here and people I thought that that is people they just make uh, some very uh, special history for this cave from Padma Sambhava. That's people talking about this is natural found. So most of with the Tibetan people we are who grew under this culture, they believe whenever they are going to say something. Also we easy to know this is handicraft. Yes, that's but uh, but uh, if somebody say this is a natural found, we are going to believe. Then around here that's this part, this one, this one is a natural found of the Dantin, which is Dantin is a protection deity. That's the natural found. This is the horse head represent. I see. And this is the angry face. He's the he has a bear hair or bear which is fire right behind. This is the round shape around here, and that part is a, his face. This is the what they're talking about, yeah. And uh, this one is a 
Padma Sambhava's his footprint. There was a very quite big. If this is a The sun is so bright. I see a very good view of Venice from here. Okay. Oh, nice. Always an adventure. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> 